Hey everybody, Cynthia Maynard here, and I have been playing around creating some different projects in lieu of my kits that are going to be available. I wanted to show you a technique today that is kind of a fun little thing. You basically just need some cardstock, uh, a punch, a shape of your choice. I'm using the Elegant Butterfly from Stampin' Up! and a stamp that you like, and I'm going to use Ghoulish Grunge, and I'm going to do this brick kind of all over. Some clear embossing powder and some Versamark ink in your heat tool. And we're just going to basically make some, just sort of an all over pattern and we're gonna do a bunch of punches. And this is a great way to create a stamped texture that is, uh, and also we're gonna do a little spraying because you know I love to spray things <laughs> and give it a little glimmer. So I have, you could use some Rich Razzleberry. This is a retired piece of paper that I'm just using up. And um, this is going to make some deep, beautiful gold. I think the gold will go really well with this color. So I'm going to go ahead and get my brick stamp out. And we're just going to make an all over pattern. We're not really trying to do anything, uh, you know, specific. So don't worry if it's not perfectly lined up or whatever. So I'm just going to make the most of my paper. Just kind of stamping right in a row. It's okay if it's crooked. Have a fun way to use your punches besides the typical sort of stamp and punch method. Okay, something to catch my powder, and then we're simply going to coat it in the embossing powder, and then you can just put that right back in the bottle. It takes a long time to go through a jar of this, it's a great investment, and you can do a million things. I have uh, a playlist with embossing techniques on there. So you can see the pattern of the stamp kind of stick out there. And we're going to heat set that and it'll be clear. It looks white right now. See the brick there, the little sheen of the clear embossing powder. And uh, it's not that you couldn't do a color, um, I just thought this would keep it kind of neutral. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and spray our Tattered Angels. So this is a spray that has mica. You can kind of see it there on the bottom and you just simply kind of hit it against your hand a few times and it reincorporates. We collect the overage and then uh, I have a video about what you can do with this um, to make use of your cereal box. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and let the gold kind of catch in that um, in the crevices of the brick. It is going to curl a bit. We're making it wet. And I'm just going to dab that a little bit, make it spotchy and cool. And then we could just dry it with a heat tool. By the way, this would make a great card background as well. So. You don't have to do the punched up if you like it just like this. You can go ahead and build on this as a card base. Now we have a cool piece of paper that is, and it's nice about the Stampin' Up! paper, it's very sturdy, so there is some warpage here, but that's to be expected, but it's not as much as I've had with um, like recollections that I've used a lot. And then you can just go ahead with your, you can make a cool tag out of this with your tag topper. Um, you could do any number of things, but I'm going to go ahead and punch some butterflies. So I'm just going to get in there and punch that out. And then I've got this cool looking brick butterfly, <laughs> something you wouldn't necessarily expect, right? And then you can just kind of go around the edge or you can kind of <laughs> make a card base out of that with the negative space. Uh, Also reuse this, make a stencil. Lots of things we can do. So here we have, oh we got a wounded one. I cut too close to the edge. That's okay. Uh we'll set that aside. Um I guess I need to clean my table. So you can see all these cool little butterflies. Now you can do this with uh, a mixture of like a floral design. I know Timeless Textures would be a great stamp set to go ahead and use with this technique if you want sort of a more feminine um, lines and things. Um, these are great guy butterflies, huh? Nice bricky butterflies that you can go ahead and use. 
um, by stacking them. What's nice too is they crisp up with all this work and so you can kind of shape them if you take like a pencil. <laughs> got my kids pencils, I don't even know what I've got here. <laughs> oh. And you can kind of use, you know, a rounded um, you wanted to give some dimension and look how well it sticks. Or you can go the other way with it like that and then when you stack them you put what's a glue dot in between there and then you can put like to make antennae you can put something in between there that's very like a wire type of thing and curl that and then you can adhere it in there and uh, you'd have a cool little antenna coming out of there. So you can make them multi-layered. You can put um, a, like a little bling in the middle here. I've glued on jewelry findings before, uh, little spacers and things like that. Really cool. Like that. Um, you could poke a hole and put a brad through here. Let's see here. I've got this little gold uh, one, two, three, four, five, six hexagon. Um, you can use your paper piercer and your Stampin' Up! foam pad. Little tip, um, you know, I was playing around with these and I, I had some cardstock that I had embossed and done this method with, and then I kind of just set it aside. I, you know, didn't at the moment have anything in my head that I was going where I was just kind of playing and then I got punching I wanted to try my butterfly punch out that I had gotten and I thought you know what these make really cool butterflies uh, and then and so I thought I'd share that little trick uh, with you so we simply embossed with clear embossing powder we we stamped with whatever stamp you want and then we sprayed it you don't have to spray it or you can spray it with a different color ink like some white would be cool um, like a splattered look, uh, and then we just embellish, and then you can use these in any a number of ways in your uh, paper crafting. All right, guys, if you like quick tips and tricks, DIY stuff, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. If you're new here, please subscribe to my channel. If you need any Stampin' Up! products, you can visit me at CynthiaMaynard.StampinUp.net. I'll be glad to help you out with that. And we have a customer um, a loyalty program there, so if you need any punches or paper or all sorts of goody goody lots of goodies there and it's great quality stuff let me know all right guys thanks a lot and have a great day